He's best known for the satirical TV quiz, Have I Got News For You, poking fun at people in the news. For 25 years, he's been editor of the magazine Private Eye, exposing the antics of the rich and powerful. Today, Ian Hislop came to the Royal Courts of Justice, where he's often been sued for libel, not as a defendant, but as a witness. So the first witness today is Mr Ian Hislop. Mr Hislop told the inquiry that News International had felt it was untouchable over phone hacking, partly because of the unhealthy proximity between press barons and leading politicians. If you're the editor of a, a Murdoch paper and you see, oh, the Prime Minister's organising a slumber party for the proprietor's wife at Chequers, oh, um, <coughs> presumably that gives you unbounded confidence to do whatever you like. Or if the Prime Minister appoints an ex-News of the World editor to be his communications director, you must think, well, we're top of the pile. What could stop us? From The Guardian, the paper which broke the phone hacking story, came its editor, Alan Rusbridger. He said that the Metropolitan Police had tried to persuade him not to run the story. There were two occasions where very senior Met officers came to see me in effect to try and talk me out of the story. From the Sunday Times came its editor, John Witherow. He was asked about the subterfuge used by the paper in 2000 to obtain details of the then-Chancellor Gordon Brown's finances. Did someone on your behalf pretend to be Mr Brown to blag that information? Yes. Mr Witherow said the story had clearly been in the public interest. With one exception, all the national newspaper editors have given their evidence now, and all of them, in their different ways, have been opposed to the idea of new laws which try to curb the way the press behaves. Tomorrow, the inquiry moves on to celebrity magazines and regional newspapers. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at the Leveson Inquiry.